What is going on everyone, RJ here. And in today's video, we are gonna go ahead and cover the part two of three of the constellation kind of like package that I'm uh, talking about here. Because like I said, if you missed the first video, Constellation in itself is such a huge, huge project and the videos would be so, so long. So I had to really break them into three different videos so that it's easier to absorb and kind of watch in bits and pieces. Today's video is going to be one of the meteor ones out of the three because we're going to talk about their hypergraph network, the actual DAG token and its use cases, as well as their wallets and utilities. All right, so we're going to dive right on into it. So if you guys haven't already, please consider smashing that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you guys are notified every single time I upload new content. Again, we have a lot of meaty, meaty information to go over here today. So without further ado, let's dive right on in to the flight deck. Welcome to the flight deck, everyone. So let's dive right on into part two here, which is going to be about Constellation's hypergraph network or HDTP for short. HDTP is a, is a distributed ledger technology known as a directed acyclic graph protocol, also known as DAG, with a novel reputation-based consensus model called proof of reputable observation. Hypergraph is a fee-less decentralized network that supports the transfer of DAG cryptocurrency. So now we're gonna dive into state channels or microservices. The Constellation HDTP network is a collection of microservices called state channels. Each state channel validates specific data types with user-defined validation functions. State channels form a distributed network architecture that can accommodate real-world big data use cases. Developers can integrate state channels directly into existing applications, allowing for a direct ETE, or I believe that's enterprise enterprise security and minimal seamless deployment. Proof of reputable observation, a revolutionary protocol. The Constellation Hypergraph Transfer Protocol is powered by a secure communication protocol designed for wide open networks and concurrency. Our vision was not achievable with traditional consensus models. Therefore, we built the proof of reputable observation from the ground up, incorporating machine learning to balance our complex network topology with a performance-based approach to validator rewards. Our protocol relies on a peer-to-peer -peer reputation system called proof of reputable observation that serves as our consensus model while simultaneously optimizing network topology. So very, very nerdy and technical stuff here, but I love that, right? If we're talking about consensus models, we have proof of work and proof of stake, which is one of the two most popular ones. So proof of work is looked down upon because obviously it requires power. It's not very eco-friendly, people are mining it. And then proof of stake, which a lot of people know about, which is let's say Cardano does proof of stake. And so is a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there, which Ethereum is proof of work, but going into ETH 2.0, they're gonna be proof of stake. So with Constellation, they're saying that their vision wasn't achievable with the current uh, consensus model. So they created their own, which is proof of reputable observation. So in this section, we're gonna talk about the layer zero and how it actually works because this is really cool stuff. So the application interface for the layer zero standard. WordPress created a framework for developing websites and businesses on HTTP. Constellation provides the layer zero standard for anyone to create a blockchain based business with robust programmable logic on hypergraph transfer protocol or HDTP. Introducing Hypercube, where anyone can engage with our client and create their own business built on a blockchain. With the introduction of Constellation L0 standard, a state channel slash microservice framework, anyone will be able to validate data schemes and data sources mint their own cryptocurrency and attach business logic and metrics to their layer zero. To create a layer zero application, DAG will be required and may be procured in the ecosystem. And we're gonna dive more into this, okay? And what why DAG is required. In today's cryptocurrency market, there are too many random tokens that are created for public relations stunts. The layer zero token standard allows purchasers and holders of an L0 token to see the business mechanics. 
token types can be designed by the creator of the L0 token to attract purchasers and holders, including shared rewards that relate to the success and utility of the token. We provide predefined token types for the layer zero token creator. And if we scroll down here, our network differences, crypto, graphically secure, consensus as a service, simplicity and scalability and speed. So that being said, let's dive into the DAG token because it was mentioned earlier the why if you create a state channel DAG tokens are required is because each DAG token actually has a utility already inherently integrated into the token. So the DAG token is the financial state channel of the Constellation network. It allows for seamless exchange and interaction between the various state channels and nodes that make up the network. DAG binds the network components together so they relate to one another. So here's the utility of DAG, tokenized throughput. While Bitcoin does not provide utility besides a store of value, DAG provides a second functional value as a tokenized throughput or bandwidth on the network. At the same time, basic rate limited functionality will remain free, allowing users to send single transactions for one off peer to peer payments. For any serious data processing or data exchanges, more throughput is needed. This is acquired through DAG micropayments or by contributing resources as a node operator to the network. All right, so let's break that down. So DAG tokens, not only is it a store of value and as a project and the company grows, the token becomes more valuable, but it actually already has inherent utility on the token. It actually provides throughput to the constellation network. All right. So you can see here that it is tokenized throughput or bandwidth on the network. So that's why if your project requires serious processing or data exchanges, you need more throughput or more DAG tokens. This is where we're, and we'll cover this later in the future. This is where being a node operator or staking some nodes or having enough for a soft node will help you earn passive income, which is you guys already know what I'm all about, because later on, if a project wants to build on the constellation network and they need a lot of throughput, I can lease my node to them to provide the backend infrastructure and throughput they need to run on the Constellation network. It is amazing stuff and it is really, really exciting stuff. So the DAG token already has inherent utility. It is amazing. It provides throughput and bandwidth on the network and as well as a store of value, which you will see increase as the project continues to grow. Adding value to the data. So a data focused token DAG allows for the attribution of value to data, whether it's a single package of data or an entire data stream traded in real time on an event basis. DAG provides a decentralized data marketplace for the data economy. In doing so, it enables data preneurship for individual and corporate users who can securely and compliantly monetize their data. And then this is how DAG works. The Constellation network is composed of DAG nodes, state channel nodes, and hybrid nodes, which perform consensus for multiple state channels and DAG. Each state channel can license or share its data to accounts either by granting access rights via payment in DAG or a throughput allowance for validating data as a node operator. Sole state channel nodes or hybrid. Hybrid nodes allow for direct license exchanges via atomic commits from hybrid nodes. Importantly, in contrast to classical blockchain solutions, Constellation Network's architecture is based on the concept of microservices. This means that as network adoption grows, different types of application specific or task specific hybrid nodes are foreseeably created. Hybrid nodes ultimately allow for cross chain liquidity, while DAG is the financial aspect that ties all types of state channels, data or currencies together. And then last but not least, they do have their own wallet. So wallets and utilities constellation currently offers wallets in three flavors with more features in the works. These wallets were born from our trusted community members and represent just the beginning. In addition, we have a growing list of hypergraph tools and utilities. So check back often. So what you're going to see here is they have their own wallet, which is called the Stargazer wallet, which I have. If you look on the top right hand side here, right next to MetaMask, I do have the Stargazer wallet. 
The Stargazer wallet was designed for a future interconnected blockchain ecosystem. Cross-chain and browser extension capabilities make it possible to hold and transact DAG and support ERC-20 tokens. The first of its kind, a Stardust creation. The Stargazer wallet was created by Stardust Collective, a decentralized open source organization with members from all around the world, including Amsterdam, Dubai, San Francisco, Singapore, and Sydney. The Stardust Collective's work focuses on producing companion dApps and tools built on Constellation's Hypergraph network. The Stargazer wallet features new only on mobile QR code convenience, multiple addresses under one wallet, seed phrase ready, cross-chain compatibility with ETH network, contacts, and import single private key accounts. So here are the features coming soon, and one of them is very important to me. Uh, first and foremost, you can buy DAG with a credit card, DApp integration framework, and then ledger support. First and foremost, I don't own a ledger. This might force me to go with ledger to protect my Constellation account because I have a Trezor and obviously a Keystone wallet for mobile on the go stuff. My, my computer is protected by a Trezor, but looks like they're first hardware wallet support is going to be with ledger so congratulations ledger for landing that contract but right as of right now there is no hardware wallet support so that kind of puts me on edge i'm very careful with what i click and make sure that i'm not clicking on any malicious links but i'd rather obviously have my private keys stored offline rather than locally on my computer so uh, i'm keeping an eye on this um, if i can speak to ben and i can land that ama i'm going to see if i can kind of push them towards the Keystone because Keystone is mobile. It integrates with MetaMask and MetaMask mobile. So because Constellation has the Stargazer wallet on both desktop, they also have it on mobile as well. And then the last feature feature is authenticate for validator node management. And then they have tutorials on how to install and get started with the Stargazer wallet. But then they also have Molly. And Molly is very interesting. I personally don't have Molly, but it looks very, very robust. The Molly wallet was created by a Constellation community member for the best community in crypto and named after the wallet designer's daughter. Molly is built with a vision to set future standards in digital commerce. Just like your wallet that you use today to pay for lunch, dinner, clothes that hold your business cards, IDs, and that lucky penny, our intention was to design something that people would use every day. We live in an age where we have an abundance of information from videos to vlogs that are at our fingertips. Digital commerce is molding how generations interact with one another, consume and educate themselves. The nature of this wallet is digital and thus we wanted to expand the possibilities of what a wallet could be and do because of its multimedia capabilities. We wanted to make not only user friendly, but create a space for applications to be developed by a vibrant open source community. All right, so if you guys are uh, wanting to check out Molly, again, I don't use Molly, I use the Stargazer one, but you can see that you can download Molly on Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys really did enjoy that video. Again, this is one of the meteor ones because we're, we covered the, the Hypergraph network, which was a beast on its own, the actual DAG token and what its utilities are, and then uh, obviously the wallet that you can download right now to get started with DAG. So with that being said, I hope you guys really did enjoy this second video. This is the second one out of the three. And if you did, do me a favor and please consider smashing that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you guys are notified every single time I upload new content. If you guys have any other questions, just please post them in the comment section below. Life is too freaking short, so eat some delicious food, drink some delicious drinks, do some good in the world, spread some positive vibes, and I'm gonna see everyone on the next crypto video next time.